it's Rachel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things in this entire world, Trader Joe's. Hello! <laughs> Trader Joe's is my favorite grocery store ever. The prices are amazing, the quality is amazing, the products are amazing, and there's so many low calorie and diet friendly options there's so many options when it comes to dairy free gluten free whatever intolerances you might have got my coffee i'm caffeinated <laughs> let's get to it so i will start off in the produce i buy a lot of varieties of lettuce i use or either use these in salads i use these in bowls i've really been into making almost like nourish bowls so you kind of build the bottom of the bowl with a bunch of lettuce. You can top it with rice. You can make it Mexican. You can make it Moroccan. I've kind of been playing around with food styles, but pretty much you can just stock up a bunch of veggies and a bunch of lettuce and still have it be extremely, extremely filling. So I buy so many bags of this stuff. I bought butter lettuce and arugula, but I also have spinach and romaine in the fridge. So lettuce is definitely a go-to and I definitely use this up. So I honestly don't eat a lot of fruit. I definitely eat more vegetables than fruit, but my favorite fruit right now has been blueberries, especially the jumbo blueberries and they go amazing on top of oatmeal on top of some dairy-free yogurt they really just spice up any sweet treat that you're thinking and they're also just really good and low calorie and low in sugar and really good to snack on so i go through a bag of baby carrots a week <laughs> literally they're just such a good snack they're supposed to be really really good for your digestion they're low calorie I hopped on the trend where I started dipping them in mustard from the TikTok girl. Judge me if you want, it's actually really good if you dip them in yellow mustard, it's good. But if you dip them in like a honey mustard or a Dijon mustard, it's also really good. So even though it's a funny trend, I highly recommend jumping on it because it does make a really good and healthy snack. All right, so I am a sweet potato junkie. I love sweet potatoes. I probably eat one to two small sweet potatoes a day. I have them for dinner every single night. I either cut them up, I pop them in the air fryer, I'll roast them in the oven, I'll put them on a pan. They're so versatile and they honestly taste like a treat for me or they taste like I'm going out to a restaurant and eating fries, especially when I put them in the air fryer. So I love normal sweet potatoes. I love white sweet potatoes, but this time at Trader Joe's, I decided to pick up the purple sweet potatoes i think they're also called japanese sweet potatoes but these are so good they're like sweeter than a normal sweet potato um and they're just fun to eat because they're purple definitely if you're trying to lose weight but you kind of want that like french fry feel i highly recommend roasting or air frying some sweet potatoes a cucumber because cucumbers are so good on everything and they are essentially zero calories so if i don't have a lot of calories left for the day, or I know I'm really not that hungry, I just want a little snack, I will cut up a cucumber and it's really good to sprinkle salt and hot sauce on top of it. Just a really good snack. It's also really good in bowls, it's really good in salads, and you can pretty much cut these up and put them on anything. So stock up on your cucumbers. And then herbs wise, I just picked up some cilantro. I am team cilantro. I know so many people think it tastes like soap and think it tastes bad, but I will load up the cilantro. I freaking love cilantro. It is so good. You can buy it just in like your normal produce section, but in Trader Joe's, they come in these little pre-portioned little boxes and that has been a lot easier for me. This is the Green Goddess salad dressing. It is so good. It has avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic, and those are the only ingredients in it. It's vegan, gluten-free, and it's only 20 calories for two tablespoons. So this is so good on top of salads, on top of bowls with veggies. It's just such a low calorie option with also amazing, amazing ingredients. And you definitely know what you're putting in your body compared to other salad dressings that have a lot of added sugars and sometimes some ingredients that you can't pronounce. So if you're looking for a clean and low calorie salad dressing, this is definitely your best option. Okay, kind of moving into some jars, dips, etc. Um, I picked up actually a while ago these pickled fermented jalapeno slices and they're good. I think sometimes jalapenos can be a little too spicy for me, but if you throw a few of these 
on your dinner. I've thrown a few of these on steak and kind of done a carne asada kind of thing or chicken super low calorie it kind of just gives that feel that you're eating more spices more sauces and kind of just giving it that kick so other dips i have never tried this it's called the eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers and it's only 30 calories for two tablespoons and pretty much the only ingredients are eggplant sweet red peppers water tomato paste sea salt dried garlic really really clean ingredients and i'm really excited to put this on top of either like a gluten-free pasta or dip veggies in it i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with it yet but it sounds super super good and i'm excited to try it i always stock up on this coconut oil spray um it's just a lower calorie option than putting oil straight in the pan. Even though it says it has zero calories in it, it technically doesn't have zero calories in it. But if you do use a small amount of it, it definitely does that non-stick kind of thing. You can cook your food and it sometimes gives a little coconut taste. Also, coconut can be better for you than when it comes to like canola oil and stuff like that. So highly recommend using this when you're cooking in your pans. Okay, I'm kind of on like a toppings, condiments kind of kick, but I also had these open already but these are the shelled hemp seeds um just the hemp parts and i thought that i hated anything hemp flavored i use these to top my oatmeal and they're actually really good they give a little more of a texture than just your normal oatmeal and they are so so good for healthy fats and protein obviously you don't use a whole serving because a whole serving is very high in fat and calories but you probably only use about a third of the serving and you're still getting a good amount of healthy fats and a little bit of protein as well so if you are not topping your oatmeal or your desserts with hemp seeds you should it's really good for you <laughs> And then I just got two cans of pumpkin. I'm not really sure what I'm exactly going to do with these yet, but last year I made a gluten and dairy free kind of paleo pumpkin bar that kind of doubled as a pumpkin pie with anybody who had any dietary restrictions. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that again or if I'm gonna do some sort of other healthy dessert with the pumpkin, but they just sell it by the can. It's super easy and I'm kind of excited to experiment with this when Thanksgiving comes. Okay, another topping, but if you haven't tried nutritional yeast and kind of used it as a dairy alternative, I wouldn't say it tastes just like cheese, but it kind of gives that cheesy flavor. I love to top my salads and my bowls and my chicken with this. It actually tastes super good. It kind of gives that like cheesy kind of taste and it actually is pretty much just protein a little bit of carbs but mostly protein so yeah you definitely don't have to use a full serving of this too so it just kind of adds a little more to your meals without adding a lot of calories last kind of condiment kind of situation i've never tried this but i saw on tiktok a girl that said she doesn't even believe that this is low calorie because it's so good so i'm super excited to try it it is the eggplant hummus it is only 35 calories for two tablespoons of this stuff and normal hummus if you go buy hummus at target or just a normal grocery store those hummuses can be like 80 to 100 calories per two tablespoons falling in that kind of higher range and this stuff is literally only 35 calories for two tablespoons and i really love eggplant and this has tahini in it really clean ingredients lemon juice garlic water sea salt pomegranate juice Ooh. So I'm so excited to dip veggies in this or kind of top them in my veggie nourish bowls. So I picked up this loaf of gluten-free bread. I am gluten-free. Please don't go gluten-free if you don't have to. I was recommended by a doctor to go gluten-free and it really has helped my digestion. It has helped my brain. It has just made me feel so much better. And now I honestly feel really sick when I eat gluten. So I do stick to gluten-free bread. This stuff actually doesn't have too bad of ingredients. Some artificial things, but you're kind of going to find that when you do the gluten-free thing. So obviously I do eat this in moderation, but lately I have been doing avocado toast, which since going gluten-free, I thought that I was never going to be able to eat avocado toast again. But after I discovered that I actually really like gluten-free bread, I've been doing avocado toast topped with egg whites every morning and then drizzle some balsamic glaze on there. It is so, so good. If you are not putting balsamic on your avocado toast, 
you are doing it wrong. It is so good. <laughs> and I don't really eat a lot of kind of like processed barred snacks. I kind of just rather munch on fruit or munch on vegetables, but I do pick up occasionally a few RX bars. Super, super clean ingredients. Three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates. I bet you have heard about these. The ingredients are amazing. The calories aren't too high. And if I'm on the go and I'm gonna be out all day and I don't necessarily have time to get all three meals in, not saying this is a meal replacement by any means, but it definitely holds me over and it's really healthy and it doesn't make my stomach hurt. So these are definitely my go-to when it comes to protein and energy bars. These are the Holy Grail. I definitely think you have heard about them, but I don't think you've heard about them in the way that I make them because I know a lot of people either throw them in the oven or throw them on the pan. And I honestly feel like when you throw them on the pan, they get really soggy and I don't love the texture of them. If you have an air fryer, put them in the air fryer and I almost, <laughs> I almost eat them like tater tots. Like I get them really crispy and then I'll dip them in ketchup. Like that sounds so weird, but it is so so good and even weirder judge me i've ate them for dessert i pop them in the air fryer i get them really crispy and sprinkle them with a little coconut sugar and cinnamon and they're so they're just so versatile and they're so good and you can pretty much eat the entire bag for only 330 calories so this is definitely a meal go-to for me especially when i kind of want like a bigger denser treat yourself meal and another frozen item that I love are just these pre-cut bell peppers, um, red, yellow, green bell pepper strips. And these are so easy to just open the entire bag, throw them on the stove, and then I have peppers for my meals for the week. So obviously it's a lot easier just buying them in the bag than cutting up your bell peppers, but I also do that from time to time too. But I do stock up on these because they make meal prepping super, super easy. I've never tried these and they actually look very low calorie. They're gluten and dairy free and they kind of remind me almost of those Cheesecake Factory um, egg rolls that have the avocado in them. They're called Hold the Corn Appetizers with rice cones filled with a savory combination of sweet corn and vegetables. So they definitely are like an egg roll situation and they look so good and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it, but I'm probably gonna put them in my air fryer and they're only 150 calories for four egg rolls and there's three servings in here. So I don't know how big they are, but yeah, they're gluten and dairy free. The ingredient list is very short and they only contain soy and coconut, which are two things that I can eat. So I'm definitely excited to try these and I will let you know how they are. So that concludes my Trader Joe's grocery haul. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please, please do. I'm so excited to do more health content, more fitness content, more lifestyle content, and to just share so many more tips and so much more of my life with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.